Hey guys, welcome back for another fun, exciting edition of LEGO Bar 21. I'm your host, Ryan, and on today's episode, we're going to talk about the Rivendell LEGO set. I cannot wait to show you guys all the details that the set has to offer. I've been waiting to get my hands on this set since it came out in March of 2023. And it was so much fun to binge watch those movies of the Lord of the Rings trilogy as I built this set. And we're going to show you guys some of the LB Kids segments in this video as well to kick off the 2024 season. So without any further ado, let's go have this wonderful adventure of LEGO Bar 21 together. All right, guys, you ready to see the build? Let's go.
All right. First off, it's the reveal of the section where all the statues are, as you see there in front of you, displayed by all those Lego minifigures. You have Bilbo's room on top, and we'll get to what's in his chest in the next part. I love the roof pattern that Lego, the designers made for these sets. You got the library on the lower level, table there. Love the candle labras on the bottom level as well. The picture depicting Isildur cutting the ring from Sauron's hand. Love those archways in the white that depict the very nice architecture that is Rivendell from the movies. Now, in the chest, you have, as I empty it out for you, um, the leaf thrill uh, that protects Frodo and that Bilbo was given by the dwarves, which contains pretty much the entire wealth of the Shire itself. And as hard as dragon scales. Now you have Sting. Bilbo's sword, but now Frodo's sword as well, which glows blue when orcs are near. Now you have uh, the archway, uh, which is really the blacksmith area for the elves themselves, where they craft all their weaponry. And there you got the sword of the king. they will mend back together which they actually do in the third movie but there you have other elven swords and axe and other swords as well in their little keep there I love all the trees uh, they were very elaborate and very well designed and it was nice that they're all unique from the other ones so they're not all the same Now the reveal of the fellowship area. I love that setup in the middle with all the chairs and it was really neat how that came together. Some elven pictures and some more candles in the lower level. And you go through there. This tile outlay and overlay throughout the whole lower level was so cool. Now you got the map of Middle Earth, some other charts and stuff that the elves I'm sure would study. Now the sword itself on top with the statue. And I love that artwork on those picture frames as well. Love the lower level and you can see the stairs going down to the next level where they have the little archway there. Pretty much where they have some elvish llamas bed. Oh, hey guys. All right, now we're gonna go take a break from the reveal and show you guys the segment from the LB Kids. But before we do that, I wanna explain something to you and tell you guys that I finally got my son Ezra to be part of the LB Kids. He was so excited, but the reason why this is so special for me is because he was diagnosed with apraxia of speech I'm sure a lot of you guys know that who follow Lego Bar 21 know my kids have autism, but apraxia speech is just a difficulty in speaking, um, putting syllables and words and together. Um, 
the fact that he was able to do this really warms my heart. Um, uh, it's going to be laid out with subtitles um, so you guys know what he's saying, but he was so excited and you could pretty much tell what he was saying. So um, let's just go enjoy this element of the LB Kids. Had a body, had a body, the go Today's the ghost. That's it in. That's Bye. Hey everyone, welcome to LB Kids. I'm your host Mason, and today I build this new Sonic Lego set. And this is the motorcycle. And this is the rhinoceros and the bird. And this is Shao's hideout. It can move like this. <laughs> and the motorcycle, and the motorcycle could drive. And also, this thing can move like this. See you next time! Now moving on from here, you have Elrond of Rivendell. And him and Gandalf, and I'll show you Gandalf as well, they both have those elaborate robe lower pieces, not the typical leg minifigures uh, that you would see on a minifigure. So in order to sit them with the Fellowship of the Ring as they're gathering and discussing what to do about the Ring of Power, they designed these wonderful uh, leg parts or extensions that can go into the minifigure and then you could go ahead and add them to the seating area and the colors do match what the minifigure design looks like as well as well as their clothing same thing with gandalf as i take off his um, feet for his minifigure on a lower level and then i attach the same thing i did for elon and then i could go ahead and seat him at his spot for the fellowship of the ring gathering as they decide what to do now you have the ring of power itself and it goes on this wonderful centerpiece right in front of Elrond so they could show all who gathered before them that they do have the one ring of power. Now the reveal of the fellowship of the ring itself. You have Frodo wielding the ring with his cloak. Samwise Gamgee with a frying pan as he's always cooking and also using the frying pan as a weapon of choice. Gandalf the Grey with his staff and his wonderful wizard hat. Gimli, son of Gloin with his dual axes and his wonderful helmet. I like that helmet for the minifigure. Boromir, love the shield and his sword, very accurate to his character from the film. Pippin, with some elvish bread that he always eats too much of. Mary, the hobbit, with a carrot as they're always eating. Legolas with his bow. And then of course, Aragorn with his sword 
to defend all who are with him. Now the rest of the minifigures, like I showed you before, we have Elrond, Master of Rivendell. His daughter, Eowyn. Two other elves coming up. This one is a blacksmith one who works in the keep down there to uh, fashion all the elvish weaponry. And another elf uh, servant who probably serves in the chambers down below with all the library and all the literature that they have in Rivendell. Now you got the old dwarf who came and rode in with Gimli, who also joined them around the Fellowship. And then Bilbo Baggins, as his age had finally returned when he gave up the ring. The Fellowship area does come off along with the tree that it is attached to, um, and it comes off in one singular unit. To look down to see the eye of Sauron always watching. And that eye actually is holds up the centerpiece. Then you got Bilbo's workstation with the book that he's writing there and back again. This part does come off as well to reveal the blacksmith's area underneath. And that is the end of the reveal of what the Rivendell set has to offer you. Alright guys, now that's a wrap on this episode of LEGO Bar 21. I hope you guys really enjoyed the Rivendell LEGO set, and if you're as much of a fan as we are of the Lord of the Rings franchise, you're going to want to collect this. It is a must-have for those who love that genre. And I hope you guys enjoyed the segments that we got from the LB Kids. Hope you guys have a great day, a great week ahead, and also a very happy International Lego Day to all of you. Have fun Lego building, have a great day, and God bless.